opposition, which is led by Congress, the principal opposition, in fact, has ruled this state for more than 50 years. People have seen Congress. People know Congress. There is nothing new to learn about Congress. So whatever they say, in fact, unfortunately, backfires in Congress and boomerangs in Congress, because people have seen through Congress, they are tired, they are fed up, and they're just disgusted, actually, to put in a word. They're disgusted with Congress party, and therefore, I don't see anybody responding in the last three and a half years. And there's nothing to suggest that in spite of the shrill noise they make, uh, they'll have any more success. I do believe that in a democracy, you need opposition parties. In, de in a democracy, you need divergent opinions, divergent viewpoints. So therefore, uh, whatever the TRS stands for, people, I believe, majority of the people, in, in fact, more than 50% of the people will vote for us. Now, beyond that, I think Congress, like I said, would be a distant second. BJP has no base and uh, at least the foreseeable future, the next general election, I don't see BJP even winning the seats it had here. It, only, it has about five seats in Telangana. I don't see them winning even those five. So the fact of the matter is BJP has no cadre and nothing attractive. In fact, if you think about it, what, what has the BJP got to showcase? as a result of good work or, you know, has to offer to the people of Telangana or for that matter to the people of this country.